Good morning, Prep 1. Today we are going to take novel around the world in 80 days. Chapter 9 and 10. In the previous chapters, we knew that Mr. Fogg was making a journey around the world to win the bet, and he was taking his servant passport too with him. After that, they met Awuda, they saved the hair, and she decided to complete the journey with them. While Mr. Fogg and Awuda were walking, They spent a long time walking together and talking. Mr. Fogg spent the whole evening reading the newspaper. Although the Carnatic was late, Mr. Fogg didn't catch it because Passport 2 didn't warn Mr. Fogg about the change in the time of the leaving of the Carnatic. Because Mr. Fix made Passport 2 drink too much to stop him from warning Mr. Fogg about the changing of the time of the Carnatic. But Mr. Fogg solved this problem. He hired a boat called the Tanker to take them to Yokohama. But the captain refused to go there in such a small boat, and he had other plan, in which he decided to take them to Shanghai, then to take another ship to San Francisco. The captain refused also to put the life of himself in danger and the life of his men also. But Mr. Fogg offered him a lot of money and he gave them 200 pounds. And he offered Mr. Fix to go with them on the ship he hired. And he said to him, I have not the honor of knowing you when he met him at the port. Now the tanker was ready to raise its sails. Besides, Captain John Punsby there were four men on the boat, four strong and clever sailors. Captain John was a man of about 45 years old with sharp eyes and an active body. Person whom anyone could trust. Phileas Fogg and Awuda went on board. Fix was already there. They all went down into a small but clean cabin. The detective felt uncomfortable. He wasn't happy about being on the receiving end of Mr. Fogg's kindness. At 10 minutes past there, the sails were raised. Mr. Fogg and Awuda were standing on the ship's deck looking at the land for the last time. But the unfortunate Frenchman, whom he had treated so badly, might still come. But finally, Passport 2 didn't come. Okay, the summary of chapter 9. Mr. Fogg misses the boat. Mr. Fogg knew nothing of this. He took Awuda to buy her some clothes. Passport 2 didn't return back in the morning. Mr. Fogg arranged everything and took Awuda to the port he knew. He knew that the Carnatic had left the day before and the following steamer would take off a week later. Fix went to Mr. Fogg and told him that he was going to travel by the Carnatic. I and he would wait for a week for the next steamer. Mr. Fogg went to find another ship. He wanted to hire a ship to take them to Yokohama. He met a sailor and told him he wanted to go to Yokohama. The captain told 
his it would be a dangerous journey and he told him too that they could go to Shanghai to take the steamer. The captain John Pansby told them that he was going to leave in an hour. Fix would join Mr. Fogg and Awoda. Then the tank there on their way to the north. Okay, the questions of chapter 9. The first one, how did Mr. Fox solve the problem of the ship? He hired a ship to take them to Yokohama. And the ship was called Tank Der. Why didn't the ship take them to Yokohama? Because it was a very long and dangerous journey. The other plan was going to Shanghai to take the steamer to Yokohama. How did Fox join them on the steamer? Mr. Fogg offered him to continue the journey with him. Now we are going to take chapter 10, the storm. A journey of 800 miles on a ship of this sort was not without danger. The China seas are generally rough. During the last hours of the day, the tank there made its way through the narrow stretches of water to the north of Hong Kong. Phileas Fogg was standing up straight like a sailor. The young woman, seated near him, was looking too at the dark green water. Night came, the moon was in its first quarter and the clouds from the east had already covered a good part of the school. Fix was in the front part of the ship. He kept away from the others. The traveler, instead of traveling directly from England to America, as most people in his position would have done, he preferred to sail around three quarters of the earth to reach America. Phileas Fogg was thinking about his servant, who had disappeared in such a strange way. At about 10 o'clock, the wind grew stronger. By the next day, the boat had gone more than 100 miles. Its speed was between 8 and 9 miles an hour. Mr. Fogg and the young woman, neither of whom suffered from sickness, enjoyed a good meal. Fix was asked to join them, but once again he was not happy about the situation. At the end of the meal, he thought it's his duty to take Mr. Fogg to one side, although he didn't like dressing a thief as sir. The ship sailed well. John Pansby had high hopes more than once he said to Mr. Fogg that he would get to Shanghai in time. At about 8 o'clock the storm broke, rain poured down. As night came the storm grew more violent. John Pansby and his men were very worried. But the tank there kept on its way to the north, but more slowly. At last the daylight came, the storm was still violent, but the wind changed to the southeast. This was better, and the ship flew forward again. The wind blew much less strongly. At 7 o'clock, they were three miles away. The captain swore pa he was certainly going to lose his reward of 200 pounds. At the moment, a long black chimney came into sight with black smoke pouring out of it. It was the American steamer sailing from Shanghai as its usual time. Okay, the summary of chapter 10. The journey began to Shanghai, Fogg thought about taking the San Francisco boat to America. Fix was thinking about how to catch Phileas Fogg. On the other hand, Mr. Fogg and Awuda were thinking about Passport 2 and how he disappeared. At 10, the wind grew stronger. In the following morning, they were about 200 miles away from Shanghai. The sea got rough and a strong wind came first. It was go as it helped them to go in the correct way.
Then the rain poured down. Then the wind changed its direction. The captain was worried. He said that it would be better to stop on a port. But finally, they decided to go to Shanghai. The weather got worse, but the wind changed its way, and the ship moved quickly towards Shanghai. At midday, the wind got calmer. On 11th, they were about 45 miles away from Shanghai, but six hours left. They needed to sail in their fastest speed, but the wind was against them. The captain was sure that he would lose the reward. At the same time, they saw the American steamer started to move. Mr. Fogg asked the captain to signal the captain of the American steamer. Here we have some questions about chapter 10. What happened to the weather? There was a strong wind. At first, it wasn't a problem as the wind was going in the correct direction. But the, then it changed and there was a bad storm and the wind changed its direction. Why did the steamer go in its fastest speed? Because the wind was strong and helped them to go in the correct way. Okay, now we finished chapter 9 and 10.